Welcome to our presentation, Master Your Order Entry Process from Chaos to Competitive Advantage. Quality in equals quality out. This is especially true when you're talking about the order entry process. In order to make your products right the first time and deliver them on time, you have to have a clean and efficient sales order process. Today, we'll talk about how you can use automated order validation, standardized and enriched data, and controlled business processes to make fewer mistakes in order entry and to reduce rework, which in turn leads to better profitability for your business. First, let's outline what we mean by the order entry process. Different organizations have different workflows they use to manage orders, but if you boil the process down, almost every organization follows the same basic steps. At your point of sale, someone configures the order, you receive the order, you acknowledge that the order is good, and then when you're ready, you release the order to production. You likely have some processing steps in between each major step, but I think this is a good place to start our discussion. So let's take a minute to look at some of the challenges of a typical order entry process. At the point of sale, your dealers, designers, retailers, all the people who are specifying your products on an order, they have a lot of information to put on that order. Customer information, shipping information, line items, pricing, upcharges, discounts, taxes, service fees, and probably more. And then they've got to define the proper specifications. They've got to choose the right finishes, hardware, styles, accessories. They've got to make sure they're not using combinations that don't work together. If you don't offer a maple door with dark stain, then they have to make sure they're not choosing that combination. What's the probability for error? High. Then let's compound the problem. Maybe your dealers are using a system to configure your orders. Is the system up to date? Can you publish product changes or new product lines quickly? Does that system match your internal order system? Does it validate feature selections for them so they can't order that maple door with dark stain? Does it make sure they're not choosing a 24 inch drawer insert when they've ordered a 30 inch drawer? It's so easy for disconnected systems to fall behind on maintenance and updates, and it's difficult and expensive for you to program every nuance of a product line into a system that wasn't intended for this industry, or into a system that uses outdated technology or maybe even technology that simply isn't robust enough. What's the probability for error? High. Then let's compound a little more. Maybe your dealers are using printed catalogs. Now they've got to manually cross-reference items in books and enter or write that information somewhere, like in a spreadsheet or on an order form. Then they also have to cross-reference printed tables to make sure they're ordering valid combinations, like to see if that maple door can go with dark stain. So again, what's the probability for error? Pretty high. And then there's pricing. You've got upcharges for certain features and not for others. You've got dealer discounts, distributor discounts, multiple discount tiers, sales commissions. And again, if the system is not up to date or perhaps not able to handle the complex pricing structure that you use, then the risk for making pricing errors is very high. And if your pricing is not in a system, but rather printed in a catalog, then it's even harder to make sure that it's correct. And last but not least, you have specials or custom items. This is just another challenge in and of itself. How do your dealers convey specials to you? Is it easy for them to add specials to an order? Okay, so let's move on. Let's say the order has been configured at the point of sale and it's ready to be sent to you. How do you receive them? Maybe you receive them electronically from an online order entry system. Or maybe your dealers send files from a design software. You might receive the orders as email attachments like PDFs or spreadsheets or even by fax or snail mail. Maybe you get a little bit of all of the above. That means that you have a lot of different data formats to deal with and we've already talked about how the likelihood of the orders coming in being 100% accurate is pretty low. And then moving on again, you've got the sales orders in the front door and you need to get them into your internal system. 
The data format of the orders that you receive may not be the same across even the electronic orders, and those data formats may not match your internal system, making it hard to import cleanly and get meaningful data out of the orders. And again, they're probably somewhat inaccurate, so you have orders with errors, and you have data that's hard to extract and actually use. And then, you also have people manually keying in orders that have come in via email attachment or other methods, and so those orders are likely not 100% accurate from the dealer, and now the manual keying adds another vulnerable point in which you can introduce more error. And then, once the orders are in your system, there's still work to be done before they can be released to the production floor. You need to process them through multiple departments like customer service, finance, engineering, and even potentially IT. All of these departments need to touch the orders in some way, like for credit checks, acknowledgments, specials engineering. It's hard for each department to see what's coming, to see what they need to do next, and to see what they need to do tomorrow. Let's summarize for a second. You have error-prone configuration tools that lead to inaccurate orders. You have multiple sources of input and different data formats, leaving you with data that's hard to use. And your processes are disconnected, resulting in inefficient communication and delays between departments. So what are the results of all of this? Even small errors made in order entry can lead to big problems in manufacturing. Errors on the order lead to rework down the line, so your rework percentages are too high, and many times you don't have enough visibility to catch those errors until the product is being delivered at the end consumer. And you have pricing discrepancies that can be crippling in low margin situations. The data that you've received so far is for sales orders only. From here, you still have to jump through hoops to match this data up with what you really need to manufacture the products on the order. Data like routings, bills and materials, inventory requirements, costing, machining instructions, and machine time. The list goes on. You're up to your ears and revisions to bills and materials, routings, and CNC code, and it's hard to keep up with it all. You're left with a long validation process just to get to order approval. Your customer service people are spending a lot of time going back and forth to your dealers trying to iron out mistakes. You have a redundant and overemployed order entry department to deal with all that complexity. Order processing time is heavy and your lead times suffer. It's extremely hard to communicate between your internal departments, so the next person down the job chain doesn't know what's coming and management has a hard time really understanding what their numbers look like. And as we all know, all of this leads to unhappy dealers and ultimately unhappy end consumers. This decreases profitability for both you and your dealers, and it may result in a dealer selecting your catalog less frequently. So how do you go about improving these things, things like order accuracy, making better use of your data, and communicating more efficiently? Let's start with how you can increase order accuracy. First, you can implement software that allows you to electronically publish an accurate product line configuration system to your dealers. Software that's built for this industry and keeps its data stored in one central location. In the system, you define your product lines with features and options that the dealer can choose, like door styles, finishes, and hardware. You also define exclusions that won't allow them to choose an incorrect combination, like that maple door with dark stain. Not possible for you, so it's not possible for the dealer. A system that allows you to plan for changes and product line rollouts and to make them efficiently when you're ready. And when the data is self-validating, you're automatically reducing mistakes that lead to rework and delayed deliveries. Next, you can establish pricing configurations that reflect exactly how you price. In the system, you set up pricing models that automatically calculate complex upcharge or discount structures. Whether you discount by dealer, region, tiers, or all of the above, it's flexible enough to let you do it your way. In addition, you can calculate taxes and manage service charges. 
And you can build flexibility into your product lines so that strategically specials are suddenly not so special. For example, you can support order entry with flexible engineering models that allow your dealers to alter cabinet dimensions. The robust engineering automatically takes care of the downstream processes like bill of material generation and CNC code generation so that you don't have to start from scratch every time. The system does the checks and balances for you. This can happen at the dealer site if they're using an electronic entry method or at your in-house order entry department for orders that come in via email or other ways. Either way, the same checks and balances are automatically applied to all orders, making the order validation process much faster and less error prone. How can you make better use of the data you have? First, you can normalize or standardize all incoming data so that by the time it comes to you, it looks and acts the same across the board. This is especially important when there are potentially so many different data sources for your orders. Normalization makes data maintenance much easier, it reduces redundant data, and it gives you a consistent launching pad from which to enrich data for manufacturing. Next, you can enrich your data. There are certain aspects about each product that drive manufacturing processes down the line. This means that you teach the system the relationships between your products and your manufacturing processes. Here's a simple example. Case goods components that are laminate or melamine don't need to go through your finishing room, but veneer or wood components do. So when you teach the system these kinds of relationships, the system starts to understand what to do with each part based on its characteristics, and it builds a routing automatically that skips the finishing room without any manual input from your people. When data enrichment like this can occur as early in the process as sales order entry, it makes it easier for sales management to see real lead times based on real upcoming orders. For example, because they can see how many veneer parts are coming on sales orders that are in the books, they know how far out the finishing room is scheduled. That kind of transparency early on helps to manage expectations and balance production loads. How can you communicate more efficiently? First, you can give your dealers a way to electronically submit and track orders. A real-time link between dealer and manufacturer makes it easy for the dealer to track order status and communicate that to their customers. The system automatically keeps the status tracking up to date with real-time input from key milestones that you define. Next, you can define your workflow. In order for information to flow through your process smoothly and efficiently, you need to be able to mimic your workflow in the system and define what happens in the process along every step of the way. You need to be able to tie all critical work steps into a seamless flow of information. Here's an example. When you receive an order, the person in charge of acknowledgments automatically gets an email notification. He takes the order, which is currently in a quote stage, and puts it on credit hold while a credit check is being performed. When the credit is approved, an order acknowledgement is automatically sent to the dealer, and the order can move on to the next step. You can set up as many tasks and alerts as you need and make them fit your process, not the other way around. And throughout the whole process, you have extreme visibility across departments, which helps improve interdepartmental communication. Sales managers can easily see what's been received, quoted, and acknowledged, Material managers can forecast easier because they can see the effect that upcoming orders have on their inventory. Production managers can see what's coming, they can plan more efficiently, and they can understand what areas in the plant might become a bottleneck. And on the other side of that coin, you can filter data so that the person on task really only sees what they need to see, helping them to keep focused and to keep the right information at their fingertips. Okay, so this all sounds very interesting, but how do you begin? There are a lot of moving parts in any business, and most likely you've got some systems that work better than others. We understand that. 
Our philosophy is to help you outline an entire improvement plan, but within that plan, identify the key areas where new software tools would make the biggest difference and start there. If you've got systems that are working fine now, don't fix what isn't broken. Improve what needs to be improved, work towards measurable goals at each step, and then move on to the next area. Here at 2020, we've been serving the interior design and furniture manufacturing industry for over 25 years. We think of the industry as a whole, and we've developed an understanding of best practices through our work with manufacturing customers around the world. We bring not only a depth of knowledge, but also a passion for making furniture, as we partner with companies like you to develop the best solutions for their businesses. And it really all begins with a good discussion. We'd love to start that discussion with you. Contact us to learn more about how we can help you improve your sales order process. Give us a call at 919-319-0888 or email mfg.sales at 2020spaces.com. Thanks so much for listening today and we hope to hear from you soon.